Everyday damn hustling with Listen Vision. GC's number one recording studio. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check this out. You already know this. Your boy's mob deep and all that. Yeah, that's right. You heard us. Official Queen Bridge Murderers. The infamous nigga. You heard? Hey, yo, check this out, man. Listen, Vision, DC's number one recording studio, putting it down. Everyone, this is Listen, Vision, DC's number one recording studio. I got to let you know how we go. And I'm here with Listen, Vision Studios. DJ Boom. We doing it big from DC to the MIA, yo. You know what I'm saying? You know I got the ladies getting low right here in DC's number one recording studio. Listen, vision. Listen, vision. Listen. Some shit from a thrift Whoa. shop Ice on the fringe is so damn frosty The people like, damn, that's a cold ass honky Rolling in hella deep Headed to the mezzanine Dressed in all pink Set my gator shoes, those are green Draped in a leopard mink Girl standing next to me Probably should've washed this Smells like R. Kelly sheets but shit, it was 99 cents I get copping it, washing it About to go and get some compliments Passing up on those moccasins Someone else has been walking in But me and grudgy fucking men I am stunting and flossing And saving my money And I'm hella happy that's a bargain, bitch I'ma take your grandpa style I'ma take your grandpa style No, for real Ask your grandpa Can I have his hand me down? Thank you Lord jumpsuit And some house slippers Dookie brown leather jacket That I found, dig it I had a broken keyboard I bought a broken keyboard I bought a ski blanket Then I bought a kneeboard Hello, hello My ace man, my mellow John I ain't got nothing on my fringe game, hell no I could take some pro wings, make them cool, sell those The sneaker heads will be like, ah, uh, he got the Velcro Whoa. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up, this is fucking awesome Ow. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up Awesome. What she know about rocking the wolf on your noggin? What she knowin' about wearing a fur fox skin? Whoa. I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm searching right through that luggage. One man's trash, that's another man's come up. Like your granddad, we're donating that plaid button up shirt. Cause right now I'm up in her stuff. I'm at the goodwill, you can find me in the I'm not, I'm not stuck on searching in the section. Oh, 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 your auntie, so your mama, your mammy, I'll take you to Virginia second hand. I'll rock that motherfucker. Come up, the you hear that with sexy mouth? Dirty hoe. And they stop in the Shout out to all the skank bitches in the world. Uh, Welcome to Jess Jokes Radio. I'm Nikki Moore, and I have some obvious hostility that I'll be working out right here on the show over the coming weeks. Tune in. It's going to get hotter and hotter. Next week, we have an exciting porn that we're going to show. I mean, full on. Can we do that? Will the FCC let us? Full on porn. Okay, well, I'm going to ask because it's going to give us some world yeah. star ratings. I like porn. Yes, yes I do. Hey. Well, and we know the stars. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm uh, Lester P standing in here. and uh, Standing in? Standing in. You're always fucking I'm here. I'm standing in here. Lester P. Michael Canty. Who's I'll, out tonight. We I'll miss you, I'll be Mikey. Michael Canty tonight. I'm no, Canty. please don't be Michael Kennedy. Shout I'm out Michael to Michael. Canty. He's taking care of his mom in New York, and we wish you the best, and we wish your mom a speedy and re- just a recovery. Yeah. That's right. Uh, Michael, uh, just you so dog. you'll know that if any of these fuckers here try to 
complete a sentence, I will interrupt it. <laughs> I will talk over them. I will not let them get a word in edgewise. <laughs> in other words, you'll be messed. It'll be just <laughs> like he. <laughs> <laughs> and when they try to make a statement, I will give the Michael Canty laugh. <laughs> Michael does not do that. What are you saying? <laughs> All right, where are we over here, Mark? Yeah, this is what? yeah. Just Stuff? notes. Just notes for oh, here. Oh God! Last minute gibberish. What's going on? Any news? Any any happenings this week? I've had quite an eventful week, but you know. Yeah, we'll talk I about that next do. week. Go on. Me, nothing really. Besides, I'm loving life. Oh. Really, really. Oh, look, everybody, Mark. they can't talk to me about. <laughs> I don't think they can see it. <laughs> Mark got rid of his harmo- welfare phone that doubles as a harmonica. And he actually got a company sponsored iPhone. This iPhone. Is, this yeah. is how we do it around here at Just Jokes Mike, Radio. Mark's look got at an the iPhone. iPhone for our new content manager, Mark Carter. Yeah. He was hunting and looking for a come, come up. up. <laughs> this is fucking okay. awesome. Yes, it is. Yes, it I'm is. I'm so proud, Mark. And this, is this cigarette smoke you're blowing out here on the picture? Okay, that's a little too much. You're yeah, in my phone. That is a little desperado. Mark Mark stayed up the whole night that he got the phone. <laughs> yes, and used sending, up all the megabytes. All the data. He maxed out his data plan in the first, not even 24 hours. Yeah, it wasn't. It was like the first three hours. Lester said the email text. He was like, I called. He couldn't even answer the phone. He was like, look at this shit. What the fuck <laughs> is Mark doing? Mark, what the fuck were you doing? No, to, to my defense, I was told that everything was unlimited. Uh, yeah. And then yeah, I, I was told something different, and then I got so nervous that I ain't even picked the fucking phone back up. <laughs> hey, look, but no, I want to know, what the fuck were you looking at to use that much data? No, one night. I was on instant. I didn't even, and, and my sister, if said, bless her. If you said I will pull your head I was on hell. Instagram. Thank you. One I was strand on, at a time. I was on Tweetcaster, tweeting the show, Instagramming the show, and I was looking up content for the show. Like, I got to go out and do it. That night, I ain't had to go no goddamn where. So I was on the phone heavy, and then I got a text early in the morning from Lester. What the fuck are you doing? Slow down, <laughs> bitch. I said, okay, my bad. I put the phone down, didn't even touch it for like three hours. <laughs> yeah, uh, I wanted to tell, you know, if you're anywhere with uh, uh, Wi-Fi, you can use it to you. Yes. Your fingers are to the bone. Yes. But if you have you to go- You can rub the numbers off yeah. that bitch. But if you have to go over the air, just be cautious. Yeah. Please do. Uh, I was talking to the guy from AT&T. He said, since, you're, since you've had your phone, you haven't used two gigabytes of data. <laughs> this motherfucker here, In whoever you night. gave that one motherfucker, night. this motherfucker <laughs> done used almost two gigs in one motherfucking one night. night. I say, did that bitch go to sleep? And you, and you know what's so funny, Lester, is I'm actually like a dude who ain't never had nothing, because I'm sending pictures to people who I don't know me, like I'm sending regular pictures to my mama, like, look at me, mom. Sending pictures to my, my sisters. They're like, nigga, please, we've been doing this for years now. You're so fucking late. Well, but I thank you guys. I appreciate it. It's helped me out a lot. Man, number Getting love. the show together. Nothing but love, motherfucker. We're doing big Let's things see over there. If it there. translates into ticket sales or bodies at Funny Mondays or something. Oh, it will. You yeah. wait and see. Ooh. But that was what happened with me this week. What's going on with y'all this week? I uh, nothing. <laughs> I said, I don't know nothing. That was scary. <laughs> Damn. That looked like this girl I know. Hey, um, uh, yeah. Are we going to get to, because I cannot wait to get to okay. cancer from eating. Uh, Let's go there. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you, Les. Why can't don't wait. we get right to it then? How Why can't the, we get how, right to no, it? No, wait a minute. This is the question. Michael Douglas. He's how talking about much? Michael Douglas, and everybody in the universe must know by now that Michael Doug- Douglas said... He caught cancer in the throat from eating pussy. How much <laughs> pussy can you eat to get 
throat cancer. He had mad that cow motherfucker. Pussy. That he must have ate some bad bitch. Have you seen his wife? Oh uh, yeah, Catherine, Catherine Zeta. Zeta Jones. Yes. Yeah, she not bad. But you know what? I mean, bad, good. Yeah, not yeah, that's bad, what. Yeah, no, that's what his guy said. She's bad, hot, hot. You don't mean bad Smoking in that way. Hot. He means bad, bad. No, I mean no. bad, good. No, no. eating no. bad. Yo, bitch. listen, listen, not listen. Not good, bad. Oh, bitch. Bad, listen. Bad, bitch. All right, Catherine Zeta Jones is, is a bad bitch, hot, yeah. but smoking hot. But you don't mean hot. that when you mean. But uh, this motherfucker ate a bad piece of ass somewhere. <laughs> Not good. Some <laughs> chick. I never, you know, in all of medical history, I don't don't ever remember a case where a motherfucker got infected. I don't know what she had up in that motherfucker. So, how do you, I hope I never run into. How it. you go from he he skipped herpes. He skipped syphilis. Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. And went, and went straight, straight to cancer. cancer. How do you it's do that? I, I don't know, honestly, why anybody would um would say such a thing. That is the dumbest shit now. The man must have ate a lot of ass. A lot but of ass. I'm telling you, you know, and... And, and, and you can you, test to that because in your day, back in the day when you were my age, you ate a lot of ass, right? I'm going to speak the fifth on that because that my wife been. is watching this show tonight and because this <laughs> is our fucking anniversary. And honey, I have never ate anybody but you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. I never ate anybody but you, boo-boo. Well, and I then she, she woke up. She knows that's not the truth. Yeah. She so, knows that. It's one you thing. Think she knows? When you, I think when she you does. Children, you think she knows? When you I boys so. lie, <laughs> I mean, you don't even you take the time to be a little bit creative we, about you're it. You're right. You know what I mean? Come up with some shit <laughs> that, that we might think about buying. Uh, hey, maybe, maybe I ate two other motherfuckers. I mean, huh? catching the nigga in the pussy and he come up with what? This? This ain't my dick. I did. I ain't No, I ain't fucking. I'm not, not fucking. What, this? We fucking, but this ain't my dick. I think we do that for the simple fact is is that I'm gonna keep it for real. For the simple fact is, yeah, because us men are smart. You see, she didn't even understand that because you used it out of context. No, I did. I used it right. See, the thing about it is, we're gonna do exactly what you women allow us to do, and if we can get away with this ain't my dick, <laughs> let it fly. Because here is the thing: there is that one woman out there that may say, "Hey." That may not be his dick. Exactly. Yeah. He's on top of her. But let me ah, see. shut up. <laughs> that okay. may not be his dick. <laughs> shout out to my girlfriend, Tammy Rogers, who's in the building supporting. Yes, Tammy. What's up, baby? Love you lots. Hey, man, you know what's strange? I am seeing Tammy without a camera. <laughs> she's got to yeah. use her cell phone. World famous photographer. You, you know, she'd be click clicking. For all your photograph needs, photographic needs. I just realized that. She does not have the camera. Tammy Rogers. Yeah. Tammy, what's your email? Digigraphic Photos. Photos. It's a website. Photoreflect.com. Tammy, check her out. Go get your get your proms did and your weddings did. Bar and mitzvahs. Events did and she'll set up at your functions. Go go baby showers. And all kinds of whatnot. Terry yeah, Rogers. Did you say it one more time? Did you gravity photos by Tammy? Okay. Did you gravity? Like digitography? Did you gravity? Okay. That's okay, deep. for your X-rated photo needs. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Mark, why do you have the Flotus on on the uh, agenda? The what? The Flotus. What's the Flotus? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was Michelle Obama. Oh, I didn't know that's what we were calling her now. But apparently, to me, I think it's one of the greatest events in American history. Is our first lady finally told? A girl off, and I think she went sister sister girl because she got down off the podium with a heckler was heckling her, got in her grill, and all of a sudden the lady was getting escorted out, and she told the crowd, "Hey, do you want to listen to her or do you want to listen to me?" Crowd said, "We want to listen to you." Okay, I, escort I don't that think bitch. She got sister girl. Oh, I know though. she did. Mm -mm. Sometimes, every now and then, what you got? What you got? You think she got sister girl? I think she went sister on her. Let I me tell you what she did. What she did was every now and then you have to check a bitch. 
okay and the bitch was being disrespectful she was like being all obtrusive and you know speaking who does that she's the fucking floaters okay the the first lady of the united states she is the leader of the free world's wife which translates to she's the leader of the free world okay <laughs> so i mean who does that i've never in the history of the presidency in the United States, heard of anybody ever heckling the first lady? Because she's black. Exactly. I was I was thinking the because same thing. Because she's black. The same you know, thing. Th- I have never seen a presidency disrespected. Never. The way this one has. So yes. she said, "Fuck y'all. This is the second time we're going down, and this is what I imagine she told that bitch. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something, bitch. Mm-hmm. You say one more motherfucking thing, oh. and that's that ass. Okay. I'm gonna go back up this oh. motherfucker, and I'm gonna do what the fuck I gotta do, and you are gonna sit here, you are gonna shut the fuck." up if I feel like by the time I walk back up to this motherfucking podium looking at your stank ass face okay one more word out of you bitch and I'm gonna have you shot I am Michelle the Obama oh my okay? gosh she I me. am the oh. Lotus, okay don't make me have to speak to your motherfucking ass again okay? sister girl Going back up this bitch and that's that and she marched back up to the stage and she turned around and she saw that bitch and said matter of fact Get that bitch out of here. You're out of here, bitch. Out of here, bitch. Yeah, but you don't think while she was saying that, it was like, what? No, because she knows she can't she can't flip her neck. So what she did was she did the like scolding a child thing. Like when you do it and you don't move your fucking body. You don't move a muscle. <laughs> Only thing moving is your lips and your eyes. Bitch, you get bitch, the just you, you get the entire full effect of what I'm saying. Hey E, zoom in on me. I want to give you what I'm saying. E. Zoom in. Can you zoom in on my eyes? Please. I want to get it. Yeah. This is what you do. This is what you do. You get the full effect. You don't move your face. If you don't sit this motherfucking ass down right here, bitch, <laughs> if you move one more motherfucking time, I swear to God, I swear to motherfucking God, I'm going to smack you so motherfucking hard, bitch, your ears going to be ringing till the next presidential election. Okay? And I'm going to go back up this motherfucker, and I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do, and you better not say a motherfucking word. You hear me, bitch? All right. I think Barack, when he heard that, I think he was like she in his in his house. Head. I think he I think he by himself threw up the rock sign. He knew what she was. I doing. think he did it. it. Was like that's my girl, the Rock. We in there, the Rock. Yeah. Is that the Rock? Oh God, girl, you got you got you got to get to the streets. You got to get your you got to get down. Speaking of throwing up signs, I heard Chris Brown like was using gang slang, like blood slang, on something. Uh, didn't he? On Twitter. Yeah. I, I I don't even I can't even remember what he like, was saying. Like what exactly is blood slang? I don't know. I thought you do it and you do it with your hands when you see somebody and you like you know throwing up gang signs. I didn't know you say gang slang. I don't know what on the fuck Twitter. is gang signs. What is that, Lester? What is is what is gay slangs on Twitter? Hey, look. Dirty hey, look. bitch. This means dirty hey, bitch. Hey, here's here's the thing. I know how far the bloods actually go. So believe me, bloods. I ain't fucking with you. I ain't fucking with your signs. I am all good with you motherfuckers. I ain't going to play with it. I know what you do. I done made it to this far, and I ain't going to see this rest of this life right. through. Because let me tell you, I used to ride motorcycles, and I've seen your work. I ain't fucking with you. We good. I know you, I know you good with them, but do you really believe Chris Brown is like affiliated with the... Chris man, Brown, man, Chris Brown is from Rappahannock, Virginia. Yeah, God damn it, they ain't got nothing. That's what I but thought. Oh uh, no, oh I'm sorry, but I will say this: these there's certain gangs that, and I ain't calling you a gang, but certain <laughs> groups that have moved through all those little small cities throughout America, and Rappahannock may be one of them. You know, they Chris yeah. Brown though, Chris Brown. Chris. Beautiful people. No, what's that new shit he got out? That that uh Oh, oh that that the little yeah. Asian girl. That, yeah. That what's that name of that song? Uh, Fuck I it. What is it? Fine China, yeah. Fine China. That motherfucker sound like Michael Jackson. That motherfucker sound like young Michael Jackson. 
I wish I, I I wish we I wish we did actually have what he said because I heard it was like some ridiculous dumb shit anyway. Uh, like okay. yeah, Chris care. Brown. Chris Brown. Man. I like your music, but don't believe that. Hey man, can't nobody dance like you, man. Fuck I'm no. telling you, boy. They you got you don't coin the market on dancing. And last night Miguel was on Saturday Night Live. It was a repeat. Yeah. Who? Uh, Miguel. Miguel was on Saturday night. Oh my God! I did any news on the brain damaged girl? Did she get brain damage? She claimed she did. She claimed. She claimed she got brain damage. I told you that bitch was gonna come up. You, you did. About, no, she was just happy to be up front. I'm still you trying to find out where y'all got that from because I still have not seen it. Let's but look it up on your little eye. Thing. It was on. I saw it on TMZ. Oh, okay. Not All to right. put them down, not to put them out there, but I saw on no, TMZ. I didn't see like, it on TMZ. I saw it in the news. Yeah. Okay. And she claims she got brain damage now. Yeah. No, they were waiting to see. Can we move on to the next thing? I want to get to this real fast too. Go ahead, Mark. Oh, 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 I guess okay. Well, you're gonna get served. You get served anywhere. Looks like Sierra was trying to put on a concert and they served her with some court papers. The whole thing happened was because Sierra was um Supposed to do a, a gay event, gay pride event that was going on in L.A. Well, that Friday, she was supposed to come to this club and just appear. Mm -hmm. She backed out on that. Then she went Saturday and did her real show. So the people that she backed out of the show on, they knew where she was at. They sent whoever you send to serve you court papers when you're getting sued. And do dude walked right up to the front, gave her, while she's singing, gave her the court papers. Sierra looked at it. And threw it right back in his face. But remember, his job was done then. I was just like, that is crazy. They will that's serve you show. anything. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Gangsta. man. When you when they when you're getting served, they will serve Damn. you. Damn. You know. I, I was in the pussy one time and the bitch <laughs> served me. I was like, she said, oh, by the way, she said, by the way here you go, boo boo. <laughs> I ain't never been served. I ain't think they could do that. I got served while I was in it. Damn. Uh, he, uh, he didn't even wait till like after backstairs. I mean, you knew she was gonna be there. I, they, I got served. The husband described me, so the guy had a hard time finding me. The husband told him I weighed 400 pounds. <laughs> man. He said, she drives that car and she weighs 400 pounds. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm shocked. He was off by 20. But. <laughs> <laughs> but damn. Damn. Serving papers. Oh, my God. I ain't never served so you guys. I, that's true. Yeah, man. I don't been served in some unusual places. Jesus. And, did, and and do they serve you? Because I've heard that no, it'd be so hard for, for them to serve people that now they come dressed up in, like, costumes oh, and no, stuff. Oh, no. They do all sorts of things. All kind all of things. All sorts of things. Are you, are you less prepared? Yeah. And, and, you know, it's our natural instinct to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that motherfucker do like this. I'd be like, no. Who, who want to know? Mm -mm. I mean, they catch you, and the, when they when they catch you, is you know they the element of surprise, you know, and you don't have time to think, and you know they and just, they oh I'm sorry, I mean cut you off, and they just they just have damn I'm talking and I haven't been cut <laughs> off, I can't believe that shit, I'm fucking crazy, I can't believe it, there's no motherfucker screaming, ha 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 ha. You're horrible. <laughs> but do they have to serve it in your hand? Yeah, you have to they actually have, get it. They have to get it. Yeah. Oh, you have to dang. identify yourself. You have to identify yourself. Can nobody point you out? You have to identify. Somebody can you. point you out. No, but when they they have to ask you this question, you know, are you Nikki? And, you know, then they give it to you. You have to identify yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. What if they lie? If they say no, I'm not. You know, they cannot serve. They cannot give it to you. Damn. Yeah, and you know, I believe that is legal. Mm. legal. But I, but like you said, your instinct is to be wow. like, are you Mark Carter? You, yeah. They got her. I want to know what happens in court. I do too. We'll find out. Cause believe me, the no offense to the gays, but I know when it comes to y'all paper, y'all gonna get y'all money. I know that for a fact. The gays gonna get their money. They serve that bitch right on stage, bitch. We get not money. How about that? That's right. Try to matrix your way out of that one, bitch. Dirty hell. Speaking of uh, uh, trying to get out of shit, I want to talk about this motherfucker that's severely fucked up, you know, and had everything in life that life has to offer, 
And oh my God, who fucking who? Just say it. Paris Jackson. She tried to check out. What, what the? Did check out. Kill herself. So kill herself. Really? Commit suicide. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she tried. She took a, uh, a yeah. knife to her arm. arm. Yeah. Tried to slice her. Which was they? They said she. They said she took a knife and then she took like about twenty or Pills, twenty yeah. ibuprofen or something like that. Yeah. But the police say, from I guess from them seeing suicide people and all that, they kind of like saying that she really didn't want to do it. It was like a cry for help, which I, I, I don't feel. I feel sorry for. Her. I really do. I feel sorry for her because remember, before Michael died, you rarely saw the kids. You rarely saw the kids and. She's always in love with her father, and once Michael died, now all of a sudden it was this mass media where we just they, we just got pushed. They pushed us, pushed them onto us, and I don't think she can handle that shit. I really yeah. don't. And, and and she got Latoya coaching her. Oh God, you know. Oh God, that's the same silly bitch that when Michael died, she went to go visit Big Ass Bubbles, the chimp, <laughs> and was in front of his cage talking. But hey. do you miss Michael? I miss him too. All I knew was Bubble was, yeah, Bubble was Bubble was Bubbles Bubbles was thinking. Bitch, if you get in this cage, I'm gonna rip your face off and probably shit on your neck. And I will rip your fucking face <laughs> yes. off, bitch. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember who Michael is, and I don't know who you are. <laughs> you stupid bitch. <laughs> and Michael wasn't all that good to me anyway. Exactly. He was only good to me on camera, bitch. Right. <laughs> and you want his motherfucking offspring? I will fuck you up. <laughs> Thank you. I'll fuck you. Come in this cage, you motherfucker. <laughs> I, I got something for you. Remember that that bitch got her face ripped off out California. That that was shit. Watch what the fuck I do to you, motherfucker. Bring your ass up in here. And, and, and matter of fact, I'll fuck your little silly ass before I take your face off. Yeah, he would too. So, I mean, that's sad. You're getting coached by Latoya Jackson. It's just going downhill. No shit. And Joe Jackson in your life. Mm, mm, mm. You know, all of them want that pocketbook, baby. All of them want the pocketbook. That's what I think they want, too. Oh, and I think they want her money because they know Paris and, the, and and Blanket and the other one, you know, the alien. I call them three alien babies because they look like they're from another planet. They trying to get Michael's money because, you know, they inherited Michael's money. Big time. And that's what I think is going on. Big time. It, it's Paris and uh, uh, Blanket. What's the other motherfucker? I don't know. What is the other Comforter. motherfucker's name? Comforter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up child. Silk sheets. <laughs> but uh, have, y'all, have y'all heard that the... The the daddy the 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 sperm donor has come out the woodwork. Oh and no, see, I hadn't heard that. Because yeah. we still think they're his kids. Yeah, or at least yeah. in my crazy you, world, you I do. <laughs> you heard about that? Yeah, wow. yeah. The sperm, the guy that was his uh, manager or something that uh, got uh, Debbie Rowe. Is her name Debbie Rowe? Yeah, yeah. white got, guy. Yeah, white guy. Uh-huh, that he he nice. don't he uh, contributed to sperm, so he's coming out the woodwork and. Mm. Man. I don't think I know. Do you think he could get anything as a result? No. What he's saying is he act, just want to be in their life, like bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. bullshit. Mm-hmm. I want some paid. of that money. He wants some of that money. All right, we're coming it, to the segment of the show that I like the most, and that is real talk, reality show updates. Atlanta Housewives. Superstar, cover girl, give a twirl. Who is that? <laughs> Miss Kenya Moore is getting evicted. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Miss Bozak yeah. for all y'all. Apparently, she know. lived in a, a six bedroom mansion. I mean, well, they called it a mansion. I can't e- imagine it's a mansion with six bedrooms. But she lived in the six bedroom um, spread. Mini man. They call it actually a mini mansion. $39.99 was her rent. And yes. she can't afford it. She has uh, piled up over twenty five hundred dollars in fees, like late fees and eviction fees and shit. Yeah. These guys, you guys. Oh my god, what is that? Your ringtone, motherfucker. God damn, perf central. Let me see it. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> These dudes, I declare. That's perfect. Look totally. like stitches. No, it didn't. On the sides. Anyway, <laughs> so. The Nikki, girl, the no, girl, fuck you. Nikki is a hater. Hate, hate, hate. I am surrounded by pervs, okay? Constantly, all day, every day. They're flashing naked bitches. <laughs> Look at that porn. It's disgusting, okay? Like, you have to be either a 
closeted gay motherfucker or you know like something because you are clearly overcompensating nobody is that much of a sexual deviant it just can't be unless there's something twisted the fuck up with you you can't be 24 7 constantly every waking fucking moment obsessed with sex you fucking freaks you're not a man. Exactly. Thank You're you. You're not a motherfucking said, thank man. Thank you. I mean, yeah. Jesus. Yes. All men. They're disgusting. Yes. I mean, I know this. Disgusting. I've heard this. But all men uh, have at least a little stash of porn that they keep hidden away that they yeah. don't want anybody but, else fucking Okay. See. Operative words being hidden a fucking way. Okay? Hidden away. You freaks. I'm an old guy. And actually... I don't have to hide my shit anymore. <laughs> That's what I can't wait till I get there. Yeah, I, I don't have to hide my shit. shit. I don't know. I don't give a fuck who knows I'm a perv. You know, it's, 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 it's your wife watching. Hi, boo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, Gail. <laughs> she knows. She knows. She, she knows. knows you're she, freak. All she does Disgusting is fucking freaks. Shake my motherfucking head. That's Look at it. this motherfucker here. So I don't believe. Sad about him. I don't believe this shit. But Kenya, what? What? Didn't she say she was missing? So what was that? Kenya's body or something? No. When you said oh. Kenya, I thought about pussy, and I started looking at pussy, and then we just exchanged pussy pics. Yeah. Ugh, despicable. But Kenya, wasn't she? Wasn't she Miss America? At one Miss point, USA, USA. Mm -hmm. and wasn't she supposed to be paid and all that when she talks about on the show and oh. she twirls? But here's and the thing: she has honey, this and company. honey, that, and the mortgage wasn't that much. That, Thirty nine hundred dollars. She could have got her a uh, roommate. She yeah. could have sucked a pig for that. Yeah, I swear. She I mean, that, she could have sucked two dicks a month and got that. That's right. If she even ran a special. That's bitch. right. What the fuck? Got on the internet. You can't get $4,000. Yep, I'm sucking dick for two, yeah. $1,000. Come on down and get this spe daily special. I would have been selling special. pictures of myself. I mean, you're on a, a number one reality show. Bitch, do you have any hustle? But, but yeah. here's the thing. All the neighbors in the neighborhood got to see the fucking sheriff deliver the eviction notice Stamp it on her door and put neon around that. Not, <laughs> not just the neighbors, the neighbors and the Pavarazzi. Yeah. And, and the girl that's getting put out, the other little girl. And Miss Phaedra. Miss Phaedra probably set it up. Oh, yeah, Miss <laughs> Phaedra. Phaedra yeah. Yep. yep. You right. I didn't I didn't even think about but that. You know, You're probably hate right. Miss Phaedra probably called her friends and made that happen. What? That bitch over it? Oh, I'll handle your case for free. Yes. <laughs> Get her the fuck up out of there. Uh, Kenya Moore, you suck. Yeah, she does. Good, great body, though. You gotta Boy, kill, a, kill, a, kill a bitch. Kill a body. Her ass she. don't look real, though. They said her ass ain't real. Is it real? Men don't care. We don't. We don't care. We don't give a shit. So you don't it's care a, if, can I, oh, if let, she let takes me, it off? Let me, let me explain something to you. You don't care if that motherfucker let me, falls. No, this oh, but maybe can, not you. Okay, you Michael, care if Michael, can I get a word in? If it fails. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, can I talk? <laughs> hey, look, check this out. I've always heard women say, look at another woman's tits and say, oh, those are not real. Mm -hmm. I need to let all women know men don't care. We don't. We so don't give a fuck. How the fuck do y'all care about real hair then? Oh, that's the another goddamn thing. Oh, that's another goddamn thing. Oh, don't come to I, me I with no fake motherfucker. I draw the line at a line. Week. A motherfucker. Bitch, I, I don't care if your lips are silicone, your titties are Chesapeake Bay seafood crab cakes. You better make sure the maps are your ass are puppy pillows. You better but make sure. But don't come with no weed, bitch. That Fuck is disgusting. No. I went out with a bitch that had eight packs of weed. I know that bitch had eight to ten packs of weed. Eight, she, I, she was a ten packer. A ten packer. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch had weed. She got out my motherfucking car. And I was finding weave. I mean, she only sat in the front seat. It was weave stuck to the back glass of my motherfucking car. Um, it was weave oh, leading up. up. I was with a girl, and um, I didn't even know they'd done this. They actually, like, oh, braid your hair up. Then they put down a stocking cap. Then they glue the shit onto the stocking cap. So I was with a girl who I guess we were so close after a while that she was like, could you help me take my weave out? And I was like, yeah. And it was the most disturbing, gross 
thing I'd ever seen. I mean, the shit was all stuck to her head. She had to, like, basically go My, get surgery to get the shit out. The only reason she asked you to help her when her weave was at that place was she was disgusting and poor, and she knows that you're poor and disgusting. Whoa, so. no, she wasn't. Hey, look, Mark, I feel... No self-respect to bitch you ever when been a mad with a- weave is going to ask the guy she's fucking with to help her go near it. In fact, you're never gonna see it. That's you, Nikki. Yes, yeah, it's you. That's no. you, Nikki. Only poor bitches do that. No, shit. they don't. No, Hood rats. Ni- no, nah, Nikki. I think that's you, man. Oh, so you're saying you had bitches ask you to help them take their weave out? Never would I. Uh, I mean, <laughs> had they asked? Had they asked? No, I'm but just, I'm just the type of guy where women feel close with me after a while yeah. that they ask me to do it, and I oblige them because I still want to fuck them because you're poor. No, because I want to fuck them. It has nothing to do with money. I want yeah, to fuck them. it does. You're poor. And so are they. The fact that her yeah. weave was matted is a good indication that she's Guys, poor. have you ever Dang. been with a, a, a weave wearer? And, 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 Wait a minute. I've seen, I mean, because I've seen some of your wigs that look like some fucked up matted weaves. No, sir. Not ever. Shit. Oh, no, he not didn't. Ever. Shit. No, he didn't. Not ever. Uh, I was in Nicki Moore closet one day. She asked me to go get some shoes, and it was this poor. Hey, look, I got a picture. There was this poor excuse for something yeah, that was underneath, underneath got some a picture. boxes. I got a picture of a fucked up. I told Nicki, Nikki, I said, Nicki, I said, when did you get a cat, and why don't you let it out the closet? She said, motherfucker, that's my wig. I said, shit. Okay, not funny. <laughs> 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 oh, shout out to Nicky Boy's wigs. That wig looks good, nigga. That shit looks good. Can, can you see this? <laughs> That's Nicky Moore's wig. That but, shit looks uh, good. Look, okay. What are you talking about? All right, it looks good to you. Yeah. But yeah. anyway. It looks good to you, too. Uh, hey, look, check this out. Guys, have you ever been with a woman and both of you are sweating in that compromising position and that weave hair Get stuck to your face. Oh my and you're fucking trying to, god! And you're trying to, and you're trying to pull that shit, man. That is some of the most irritating, <laughs> frustrating. And you sweating, and you're trying to wipe sweat, and the fucking weave is you. You can't find it, and oh god, is this terrible? Oh, god damn! She's the host, but okay. Hey, I mean, what the fuck? I'm pointing to you. Oh, that's why you point to me. Because <laughs> I'm thinking you what want the them. Fuck? Who the I, fuck did you learn how to whisper in a helicopter? <laughs> what the fuck? I was, was thinking that? that you were telling me. What does this mean? No. All right. Do the story. Oh. Jackass. Sorry. Well. This has got to be only on Just Jokes Radio. <laughs> this has got to be the most underdeveloped. It's like a third world country, this show. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? Child support. I just child, support. child support. Yeah, this is what it means. Go ahead, tell the story. No, Eric, Eric Williams, since we're on the subject <laughs> of these housewife broads, Eric Williams, who was uh, married to Jennifer Williams, who was on the Atlanta housewife. Which one was it? Which one? Atlanta. Which one? Atlanta, Atlanta no, housewife. No, basketball-wise. Basketball-wise, yeah, yeah. Well, now he's got an arrest warrant out for his ass because – it's a girl out here to say she had a baby by him in, in October 2011, and they petitioned petition the courts for a DNA test and all of that. What? He skipped town. I mean, I ain't skipped town, but he's like, I ain't going. Did he take the DNA? No, he ain't take the DNA test. He ain't, he ain't going. He ain't get no lawyer. He ain't do none of that. So now it's a warrant out for his arrest for his dumb ass because he keeps claiming, nah, that ain't my baby. Well, if it ain't your baby, Eric, give up the pill. Give up the give fucking up the sperm, blood. man, or whatever the fuck they do to mm. turn the test. I don't know. Get that shit up and get it out the way. Bill Cosby did it. He did. Yeah, you remember the girl. Yeah, you remember the girl came out. Wait, what, what, what planet do you live on? Thank you. What <laughs> fucking planet just, do you live on? I just on? have a hard time thinking of him like that. Who, Bill? Bill Cosby. You forget Bill Cosby's a nigga from Chicago. Yeah. Bill Cosby that. went yeah. evil. Remember the evil um, Bill? Yeah. I know. You poor motherfucker. Bill Cosby. Ennis- Bill Cosby hates poor people too. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> you poor motherfuckers. No, Yo. he hates. And see, let me clarify when 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 we use the term poor people, we don't use the term poor like in the sense of finances. It's it's a it's a state of mind. Poor motherfuckers are these motherfuckers who just behave so ratchet that you can't <laughs> You can't get beyond anything that they do because their mentality is so poor. It's like it's an impoverished. I like, love the shrimp boat. It's an impoverished. I love the shrimp boat. State of mind. I love okay. Murray's. I love, love Murray's. Fucking catching the bus. All that kind of shit. 
I mean, it's just it's poor. Poor. She said catching the bus. All of that disgusting poor shit that goes on in the life of a poor motherfucker, and it ain't got nothing to do with money. It's some poor motherfuckers with a couple dollars too. If I get money, I'm gonna still shop at Murray's. Fuck that. See what I'm when saying? When I get money, I'm gonna still. I'm gonna keep that it real. I'm gonna represent. See what I'm saying? I'm fuck still fuck shopping at Murray's. Is, God damn it! It's all that fucking processed meat that they eat. <laughs> And shit, the, the fish steaks that they refreeze those dead animal goddamn cells from the mad cow, <laughs> and then they wrap it up and prepackage That's it and individually right. sell it in those boxes at Murray Steakhouse. You can go I into Murray's. Fish steak. You go into Murray's and get an order of mad cow. Also, you know, yeah. I, I want that diseased cow. They call it hot links. Uh, yes. No, actually, they call it um, hot links. Fish steaks. Love me a fish steak because I don't know what the fuck a fish steak is, but I fries it and I eats it exactly as if I was buying that motherfucker from McDonald's. And I love it. Hey, you look, know, before our time gets short, I definitely got to talk about breast milk pops. I, if any of you out there ever tasted breast milk, <laughs> I don't want a motherfucking popsicle that tastes like that shit. You tasted breast milk? Shit, yeah. Of course. What yeah, you mean? so so nigga, you mean tell me you never heard of a dude who's been with a woman and right after having a baby, the breast milk still coming out, you, you suck. Gotta it. taste that shit. I, I I knew this guy once who was a trick who specifically looked for women who was Were lactating, lactating so that he could do it. <laughs> Motherfucker, um, he almost made my titty raw trying to get some milk out. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I think I can get some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuck. <laughs> I squeezed my titty so hard. I was like, eh, you see it? <laughs> One shit, like shit a puff of powder, <laughs> a puff of powder came out Nikki's titty. That mama got that powdered shit, milk out of that, that mama. That shit was so dried up, the milk was powdered. I swear, <laughs> he couldn't get nothing. I said, this was this Similac. <laughs> <laughs> is there nothing, man, from your stories, is there nothing uh, a trick will not ask for? Listen, Damn. I got to tell you, it's crazy. It's crazy. But there's the dude. That's got to be the most disgusting thing. What what what? Why what is, is everything do disgusting? With it? To you, you just said it was disgusting. I don't like it because it don't taste good. It don't. Who wants to drink breast milk pop? That's fucking disgusting. I get, well, so maybe out, babies. That guy out there that maybe tried to suck your dried up titty. <laughs> he wanted breast milk. Trying, milk he pop. wanted breast yeah, milk. He was disgusting. Yeah, you know, but he didn't think it was disgusting. Exactly. Know. You know? I mean, well, the guy is actually who, who I, invented it. I think it. the guy who dressed up in panties in the alley didn't think it was disgusting either. He had a full fucking beard. Somebody see me? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody see me? Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't going to put it out there. <laughs> the, guy, the guy who actually invented him. I wasn't going to say your name mother. just like that, Lasta. <laughs> Lasta, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you know Latoya. Speaking of Latoya earlier, Latoya has her own little reality show on own life with Latoya. Oh God! If she is not the dingiest chick you ever did see, so she goes on and she's taking a self defense class. Oh God! And the dude was like, he showed her the moves, <laughs> right? And he says, "Do it." She said, "Boop boop." <laughs> he said, "You don't laugh." <laughs> We're not gonna laugh. <laughs> Dumb, I mean, it was hey, so crazy. I said, "Is this bitch kidding?" I hate to uh, see black women make a fool out of themselves. I but think she's so years, disturbed. But that, years and years, this girl yeah, has been up. making an absolute ass of herself. Yes. You know, and is what. Uh, what's that? What's that other brother with the rubber hair? The Jermaine. Uh, Jermaine. He has rubber hair. He greases a motherfucker. Uh, that motherfucker. It looks like it, right? It yeah, does. it's like it a does. rubber fucking hair. He looks hairdo. sort of like the Bob Big Boy. Uh, yep. Statue. Only a black version. The only one that's really come out of this clean is that little Randy, because he's he? like cool. Yeah, is Randy. He? Really, you don't you yeah, don't hear you, nothing. Yeah. You don't say anything. It's they, cool. He he got his little business going on. Uh, I think he's producing. Uh, uh, Tito is cool. No, Tito's done done some crazy shit. Tito with needs women. to take them fucking hats off. Yeah, Tito. Yeah. Oh. But you know, Jackie. Randy. Jackie's. I think did some shit too. I, don't think I can't. I can't that. remember what he did, but I. But you know, 
that that Latoya will do anything for fame. Yeah, Remember yeah. one time the dude had her captive and shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. beat uh, yeah. beat tax that ass. Yeah. And then right behind that, she came and put her little body up in a uh, penthouse. I thought it was Playboy. Playboy or penthouse, one of the magazines. And I looked at it and I say, damn, that's a fat motherfucker. I'm sorry, I was too young to even see this. I got to see it, though. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Wow, well, this guy a text that says, stop embarrassing me. Who said that? His wife. Oh. Hi. Hello, girl. I hey, feel boo your boo. pain. <laughs> hey, boo boo. Yeah. Stop using, stop using so many cuss words because you're a man of the. Uh, of what? Of what? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I know she didn't say that. She couldn't have. You're a man of Jesus. There's no way in Jesus. Oh, God. I'm going to move over before we catch fire. Yeah. Okay. Catch fire. <laughs> I'm Michael Has she Kennedy. been watching from the beginning? I hope not. Okay. <laughs> Has anybody seen a new show on uh, on House the Haves and Have Nots, the Tyler Perry um, soap opera kind of no, thing? No. You? No. Oh, my God. It is Holy Ghost. Okay. I love it. Like, they have this scandalous Erica Kane type black girl. The judge, right? Who's blackmailing the judge. She had sex with the judge. Oh, this thing is ruthless. I can't see this character. If he does not develop this character properly, I mean, she has the potential to move all into all sorts of cuckoo crazy. I live and breathe for her. She is staying in the judge's house after she fucked the judge. She's staying in the judge's house with his daughter who you know the family adores and the crackhead son who has this new treatment model that he's doing where the guy who's supposed to be his shadow is gay as hell and get and has to sleep in the bed with him and everything oh it's so funny i love the show haves and have nots if you haven't tuned in tune in Hey, she getting a lot. Uh, Tyler Perry, he got like what's that? Like one of three, four, five hundred shows on the two, own station. Two. Oh, it's that, and it's um the the sitcom. I can't think of the name of the sitcom. Has anybody seen? Not to skip, uh, switch gears on you, but there's a little show that uh, about these little cheerleaders uh, that comes on. I think it's. BET, the Penthouse Channel. No, maybe? no, these this is about a little black girl who's uh, that like uh, cheerleaders for a basketball team. No, okay. but, but speaking next of little week, girls, next week maybe you can okay. come back with yeah. the show. Okay. But speaking of little girls, now any girl now can get the Plan B pill. Motherfuck yeah! Any girl now. Hello. Any age. Fucking yeah! Whoever it is, Mo- no prescription. If you think you're pregnant. And when you get Lester, finished with that don't mean <laughs> take this stop pill, with baby. little girls and putting pills in their drinks. Take okay? this pill. That's not what that means. Take this. Take this. Take no. this. Take it. No. Take no. this. So all my ratchet hoes out here, your dreams have now officially come true. I don't true. know, Mark. You still better be careful because the no, pill no, might, I'm no, no, I'm pill not. Pill might be a little outside of your budget. No, I'm not buying the pill. <laughs> well, that's clear. It's for all women. We all know that. Yeah, they gonna buy the pill. Can you see a hose bag now? She's got, <laughs> she's got the, uh, um, the the super lube, super a can of super lube. Oh wait a minute, Lester! Now they don't have just lube. They don't have lube anymore. They have it in a spray can, like a spray bottle, like a little spray bottle. Get the bottle. fuck out of here! No bullshit. I used to work at CVS, and they started selling it in a spray bottle, wet, which is lube well, that yeah. you don't wet, have to wet like some squeeze good shit. it. That you don't have to squeeze it. You can just like if, like say if your mouth all dry and you want to suck some dick. I'm not you just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a lot of shit out here. There's a spray hoes, bottle. Man. I hate you. <laughs> shit. And motherfucker, I can see it in a, a emergency case now. It, uh, no, hit it, hit in it. case of dry pussy hit, break hit glass. Right there. right there on the left tonsil. Right there. <laughs> Wait, straight to the back. <laughs> I gotta get it all the way in. Oh shit, my mouth's so dry. Don't worry about shit, bitch. Oh, you are oh, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm like, all right. So, uh, Verizon is in the news. Oh man, switch if plans. You, if you don't, <laughs> yeah. if you didn't think that the government, the NSA, 
I you like the you like the uh, Crips and the Bloods. I ain't fucking with you either. But you motherfuckers have been spying on Americans. Yeah. You know, the, no. the Verizon has is turning over the fucking tapes of everybody to the government. Listen, hey. if you think you're not being watched by everybody, you're an idiot in the United States of America. What with all of these smartphones, and if you're not smart, might want to stay away from smart stuff. Okay, because that stuff has the potential to be a proverbial. But but, you understand? But what like, was the, no, can you do that again? I kind of like that. <laughs> I gotta do that shit again. I'm just saying, if you are not smart, it could just blow. It could blow you away. It could blow your mind, and it could just blow up everything, uh, Rob Moore. Yes, I'm it, just it, saying. It, <laughs> yeah. If you're not smart, you. you should just stay away from smart gadgets. What the F? But uh, forget about the smart gadgets. I mean, it's like, come on. In a minute, we about to be like Nazi Germany in a second. I'm going to have to show some papers. I got to get scanned. I mean, it's all this crazy shit going on. Nope, it's going to be that facial recognition. Like, remember the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he was running through the airport and, like, he, he you you could be re- identified by your eyes, by your face. Like, they oh, do yeah. a scan. I mean, it's just we're, we're living in that age of technology where things are just getting so well, if the, advanced. This thing, this thing. Uh, here's the, uh, it's an upside and a downside. Had it not been for facial recognition programs, they never would have caught the Boston bombers. Yep. You know, so that was the upside to that. You know, and here's my thing. And that was the most tragic thing that occurred in the United States of America in the past 10 years. Oh, yeah. Okay, Nikki, whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> no one gives a I shit. I love Nikki. This is my motherfucker here. I fucks with her. I'm but anyway. Saying, the, the Boston yeah. Bombers, really? They would have caught the fucking Boston Bombers <laughs> if they didn't have cell phones. Those fucking dimwits. I mean, they ran one of them ran the other one over with the fucking car. They yeah. were about to yeah. be caught. They didn't have if, a plan. If the police in Boston didn't catch those idiots, they should have just killed their fucking selves. Yeah. Okay? But what I'm saying is, if had they had they not had the cameras and all the shit, those guys could have walked. Even being stupid, had they not had a picture of them, they could have walked for a very long time. They probably would have got away and, with and it. never got caught. Yeah, because it's a lot. Because remember, it was a. Uh, when they bombed the World Trade Center the first time, they never. I don't think they ever caught them guys. Remember? Of course they did. When when no, Bill Clinton the first was, time. When, when Bill they, when Bill oh, Clinton you mean yeah, years ago. Yeah. yeah. When when they, they caught them. They caught when they, the test run. When they, they had the test them. run. You think so? But they did catch those guys. I never heard anything. About they them. did catch them. I can't remember. I they know. called it something I wasn't else. Born though. Then. They did. They said it was an act <laughs> of terrorism, but they they called. You said you weren't born. Then? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't born then. You and before my time. It was DC. <laughs> I'm going to pop some tags. Only got $20 in my pocket. All right. It's time to wrap up. <clears throat> I did have one other thing that I wanted to um, talk about. Go Eric, ahead. Eric Williams. Ooh, he's a stupid ass. Yeah. He's a dumb ass. What did he do? Didn't I? Did we just? I thought we did talk I about him. I thought we did talk about him. We did. did yeah. Know? Yeah, that's the motherfucking child support thing. Yeah. We did. Not Eric. Sheree. Sheree and her husband. Iyanla, fix my life. Oh. Does anybody watch that? Is is it me or does Iyanla Van Zant walk sort of like the uh the big white grizzly? What's that motherfucker? <laughs> hey, that walk Iyanla like this? Van Zant scares the fuck out of me. <laughs> that bitch walk like- you know, I had a chance to meet her in person at oh, a uh, um a New Year's Eve party. <laughs> and why is she scary? She just scary, man. She like uh, remember when uh, <clears throat> Miss Silly put the uh, motherfucking uh, Do you do right by me? Do you do right by me? Everything you touch. She reminds me of Miss Silly doing the voodoo thing. Right. Because she just does, man. She's a creepy motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't fucking with you, Ayana. Listen, sister boy. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch is just so you know and, and I don't like people that are fucking black. That shit gets on my nerves. It's like Monique, baby. It's like everything you do, you just like extra black. That bitch got like ten Crayolas that are brown in her box and everybody else has one. 
I'm like, bitch, do you really have to turn on the black that much? My sister girl. Oh, my God, baby. I, I, I've been looking for the DMX uh, Eona Fixed My Life show because I heard DMX went on her, but Wait. I didn't. Oh, shit. Yo, it was yes. classic. I can't find classic. it. I think they must have uh, they took that down. I, so. I saw that fucker. Classic. Sheree yes. and her husband were on there. Sheree Whitfield. You know, they. he's the guy who didn't want to pay child support. What was his name? Football player. Uh, I don't know. Shit. Whitfield. Damn it. Anyway, he is cock out his hell. <laughs> this motherfucker sitting up there looking like he, his head should be spinning around like marbles and shit. He said, I ain't want to pay because I hate my wife. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> look crazy as shit. And she just as stupid as she can be. That's right. I thought that was the worst show ever. Uh, I was. I could. I can't really watch it though. I tried to watch it, but I can't sit through it. Hey, what I think we should do one time is just do a whole show on fucked up TV shows. TV programming has gone by the wayside. Mm. You know, and it's just uh, you know the dumbing down of America. You know what, Honey Boo Boo. And I like Real it. Housewife. You like Duck it? Dynasty? You ever seen Duck that show? Duck Dynasty. We'll turn into. We could just turn on True TV and watch everything. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Annie, Duck Dynasty. Yes. Some of the great. The hillbilly. Yeah. Uh, Coming down of up. America. Mark says, I like it. I love it. I love it. Hey, don't make don't, don't make it seem point. like I'm dumb. Case but it's just showing me. Don't all make these. it seem like you're dumb. No, I just like watching Mark, dumb this motherfuckers. Is, this is a classic Mark Carter. Who, hey, you know, because I, it's like right up there when you catch yourself being gay. <laughs> you know how frequent that and happens. Tucci said like today. He, he always does stuff that that is indicative of a gay man. Yet he claims he's not gay. You know, he does all this stuff, and then his only source for all of his gay information in life is his gay, my gay uncle. uncle. I have Which a I gay think uncle. don't really exist. <laughs> I don't believe his gay uncle really exists. Oh, he exists. The gay uncle is Mark at the fucking cookout with yes. his booty shorts on and his goddamn tool belt from sixth grade. Hey! Hello! Hey! <laughs> Hello! Hey. Ladies! Boys! <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, here. Who he wants asked, another sausage? <laughs> Did he ask Michael Ford to have a dance song? <laughs> <laughs> no, I said my uncle and Michael. No, you said no. You, I know. You it's, we got it taped. A, you wanted to have a dance song <laughs> no. with yes, right. Michael. I'm you not. wanted to twirl. <laughs> <laughs> and twerk. You wanted to twerk. <laughs> you no. wanted to twerk with my and look back at it. I want to twerk and look back at it. All right, we got to wrap no, up. You guys are selling. Oh, one question. I got one question. What's that? E, what happened to the uh, DMV uh, honeys? Did I just want to know. They come. They oh, came they weren't here last week. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Oh, I didn't they see came. them. Okay. The one was bald headed. Oh, they were, they must have came under the carpet. They were under the carpet. One, so yeah. stupid. And one was bald headed. And one was bald headed. One was yeah. pregnant. And and you had to have missed her because yeah. she was bald. Okay, whatever, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what you trying to tell us? <laughs> you trying to say get you the fuck off the radio? Like on the Academy That's Award? what they doing. Hey, what the, the fuck? fuck was what that? the fuck's going on here? <laughs> Jesus, now this, now this motherfucker is attentive. Up and ready. <laughs> Picture it. <laughs> All of the sudden. What, what, <laughs> Don't what, make me get, throw get, a get, chair get, get up the there. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Get the, get the, get the <laughs> fuck, fuck. Okay, fuck. Well, it's time to wrap up. It's time to wrap up. We have a few things in the, in the burner. Uh, Coffees is going to be on hold for another week. Uh, Aww. Just Jokes USA presents the Comedy Idol competition. Laughs at Layla, June 26th. It's going to be an action-packed show. And we're going to have celebrities in the building. We have an yeah. all-star, hard-hitting dream team judging panel featuring Michael Williams of the famous comedy act theater chain, Atlanta, Chicago, Oakland, and L.A. Tina Graham of Tina Inc. Tina Graham Inc. She is the most known talent producer of in all of comedy black comedy Ow. and uh the one and only just jokes usa radio producer mr lester parent yeah, inappropriate ever knowing all 
always ridiculous. I'm not always inappropriate. Yeah. yeah. He's going to be the voice of no reasoning <laughs> on no, the panel. Right. And it's going to be a great time. We have, we're going to have uh, 10 contestants battling to win for their chance to win $1,000 cash plus the real prize, in my opinion, is two all access VIP passes to the biggest event in comedy. Big and bitches. That is the Comedy Act Theater reunion. This is big. That is going big to be in Atlanta, bitches. Georgia, November 11th and 12th. One of the DMV divas just popped in. And it's time for us to sign off. So you, I hey, am Nikki. She Moore got a big booty too, boys. y'all. Hey, stay tuned got for the sexiest booty. women in the area. Big They're getting ready to booty. grace these seats right here and do it for you bitches. I'm out. <laughs> got a big booty. Just jokes. Let's uh, rock. Peace. We're Give, back here next week. Give me some week. of that Mac Lamore. Take what, me out with Mac Lamore. What, 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 what.